After so many delays, there's finally a new ferry connecting the east and west banks of New Orleans. Today, the New Orleans Regional Transit Authority unveiled the first of two vessels. The service between Algiers Point and Canal Street saw a number of hiccups this year as the so-called new ferry boats. They all had issues ranging from faulty deck welding to broken hatches. Paul Dudley is reporting for us on that tonight. I love it. It was a great, quick, convenient ride. On this breezy blue sky day, David Teller is taking in his first ride aboard the RTA 2, the newest ferry taking riders between Algiers Point and Canal Street. The $2 five minute ride, he says, was smooth sailing. It seems like the equipment's really good and is very efficient. Quick, convenient and efficient haven't always been the words to describe the service here. The company Metal Shark delivered the boats in July of 2018 at a cost of $10 million. Since then, there have been failed Coast Guard inspections and the boats carried zero passengers until now. A project that's long overdue, but I'm really happy that our, our new management team was able to come in, diagnose what the issues are, put together a plan to address it, and get this boat into service. The RTA 2, at 105 feet long, holds 150 passengers. On Saturday, people got the chance to ride it for the first time, a welcome event for RTA CEO Alex Wiggins, who is thanking the public for their patience. It did take us some time to get here, uh, but uh, we appreciate their, their willingness to give this new management team time. The delay coupled with COVID-19 caused big problems for many of the Algiers Point businesses, but there is now one less issue as the new ferry can quickly allow people, along with their wallets, to cross. Oh, that's true. I'm definitely going to get lunch over here, something that I wouldn't have done without the ferry. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. With the RTA 2 now in the water, attention turns to the other boat, the RTA 1. It is currently undergoing final modifications and upgrades with the vessel manufacturer.